Hey, so welcome back and let's go ahead and write another a database query here. So essentially uh, what we have here is a question called gameplay analysis five. And so we have this activity table that has four different columns. One is just the player uh, ID that plays the game, the device that they're using to play the game, the event that they're logging on or like the particular date that they're logging on, sorry. And then also just the number of games they're playing. Now we only care about actually two columns here, which is the day that they've logged on, as well as the unique identifier of that player. And so what we wanna try and do here is say, okay, what is the percentage of players that logged on the day after the first day they logged on? Okay, so say if they uh, logged on on September 1st, um, we would include them in this kind of fraction here uh, if they also logged on on September 2nd. Okay, and so that's kind of the division that's happening here is okay, we're in our numerator is going to be the number of players who logged on the day after they first logged on, they first logged on, divided by basically uh, the total number of players, total number of players. All right, so this is what we wanna implement. So how do we do this? How do we go about uh, writing a database query to actually be able to solve this? So um, for me, the best way to start from here is figure out, okay, what is the first day that every single particular player um, logged on to play the game? So that's a initial subquery that we can write out here. So let's go ahead and start with that. So um, we can call this, uh, with uh, first uh, day maybe, something like that, um, as, and we'll write out this subquery. So we just want to select naturally every single player along with the particular event date, but we want the first day. So to get that, we can just say, let's grab the earliest date, the minimum date. And we'll just call this uh, first uh, date here. And so, once again, this is just coming from our activity table and we're just going to be grouping by the player ID because we want for each player the first date they logged on. Okay, so that solves the first part. Now, the second thing that we can do is then say, okay, let's figure out the numerator of this division. So which players logged on um, the day after this first date? So let's get that subset. And so we're basically uh, selecting those players, so the player IDs, and this is going to be coming uh, from our activity table. We'll call this uh, alias A, so from activity. And so we just want the subset of users where there's a date difference of one date, okay? So the uh, current date is one day after the first date they logged on, or the first day they logged on. So we can just use SQL's handy uh, date diff function here, and all that we wanna say is, okay, let's get the current date, and also let's subtract it by their first date, so first uh, day dot first date. Oh, and I just realized naturally we want to join uh, with this first day um, table here. And so we can just do this uh, using the player ID since they share that column. And so if the date difference of the current day and the first day they logged on is equal to one, then we know they fit that subset of players. All right, so, but how do we actually output um, this fraction that we want here? And so what you can imagine here is first thing is we want to round uh, to just two decimal places. And so let's just quickly uh, go ahead and write that out. And so with this, we want to say, okay, what is our um, uh, numerator here? Well, that's going to be uh, the um, total number, so the uh, count of the player IDs that fit that where clause. So a dot player ID here, and then simply we're going to divide it by another query. So this is the final subquery, and it's going to get us 
what is the total number of unique players in this activity table. Okay, and that's a pretty simple query here. So we just want to select uh, basically the count of distinct player ID. So B dot player ID. And so this is just going to be coming from another instance of this activity table. And we just want to give it the alias B here. Okay, so let's go ahead and try running that. Oh, it looks like we got a wrong answer. So let's just take a peek here. Ah, <laughs> we just didn't give it an alias. So let's go ahead and give that the alias that we need here. And we want to call this a uh, fraction. So let's just give it that alias here. All right, let's try submitting. And success, so that's the answer to uh, this Leetcode problem. So it's a pretty performant uh, database query, and I hope it taught you a lot. I think the main concept here is think about, okay, how can I split this up? We made three different queries, basically. The first thing is to grab, okay, for every user, what's the first day they logged on? Then let's get the subset of users where the difference between the current date and that first date is just one. And then we simply divide that set of users by simply another query, our third query here, which is, okay, what is the total number of distinct players in our activity table? All right, so yeah, that's, um, that's about it. So I hope it helped a little bit and good luck with the rest of your practice. All right, thanks for watching.